welcome back to the Midday q and I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> and this is... I'm Bee McQueen. She is Bee McQueen. And we're back today to open up our packages and try to answer some questions that people have asked us during the week. Well, first thing first, we've been promising this to uh, Terry Fleming over in Mobile, who sent you what? He sent me the book. The book? Which book? The Volkswagen's for Dummies. Idiot's Guide. Idiot's Guide. The Idiot's Guide. Idiot's Guide. The original Idiot's Guide. And this, I can't believe it, after all the rain we had during the week, I found this thing tumbling across the yard. And in it was a letter that we forgot to read off. Sorry. And we promised that we would. But yeah, it was in the bottom there, and it survived the rain. The envelope is actually in great shape considering it got wet. But read off what you got in there. Let's see what it is. It says, Hey, Bee McQueen, I'm sending this book because it must be... It is a must-have if you own an air-cooled VW. I will let Glenn take it for here. And yes, this is my real address. LOL, Terry Fleming. The street he lives on is McQueen. We're not going to give any further than that, but <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me hang on to that. It's yours. Put it in the book. Okay. That way you've always got a little bookmark from Terry. Well, we got something today that we had to share, and normally I don't I, well, I mean, I'll, I might mention somebody that's been an idiot or people that have been really, really rude. We have one of the craziest comments that I can't even have made up myself. And normally I wouldn't even share this, but this is one. One, in, I've <laughs> got to read it off. This is, this is good. I'm not even going to bother to give you the guy's name. I went back and looked at his history to see if he's ever talked to us before. And we have no contact with him at all, ever. So this is somebody new. But based on what he said in the comments... He's been watching us before and had been for a while because he knows a little bit about our history. But he said, well, you both lost me as she is pro-abortion. Pro-abortion. Does anybody know what pro-abortion is? It's the complete opposite of pro-life and it has nothing to do with pro-choice. It means kill them all. Now, I don't know when we ever talked about killing kids. That's never been our discussion before. We probably made a joke or two about me giving her a kid or something and that she would do the best she could to get rid of it. But, you know, these are jokes, people. I mean, this is what we're doing. And she says she's also anti-Trump, and that might be true. I'm not going to give you my political views either. It's not what we talk about here, but I mean, just to carry on with that, this is a judgment that somebody made without us ever having talked about it. So ill just be on my way, ill, like that made sense, to other YouTube videos. There's no punctuation in this, by the way, so it hurts my brain to read. To other YouTube videos, and I should have guessed that she was all about with the blue hair, so it'll just root for the great white sharks and hope they are pissed off and hungry the day of her visit. And I'm sure this comment will get deleted, but that's okay. And another sad part is knowing someone is concerned about the creatures of the oceans, but care less about the human beings being murdered in the womb so women can keep whoring all around and pay their way through college and buy fancy cars. And it bet she had a plan to screw you out of the car, but only after she gets it fixed by you and her friends. Yes, I'm going to screw him out of the car that I'm paying for and I'm helping restore. And my er friends. And his er friends. My er friends. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> if you could get from that, I mean, there was, like I said, no punctuation. This is one sentence. It is just enormous. And I just figured I had to share this. This is just one of those hateful remarks that was just so far out there in crazy land that I had to share it. It needed a little bit of airtime. There it is. Do we feel better now? Yeah. We feel great, and I hope you guys are laughing about it. I don't want comments like, you know, screw the haters. You know, I understand that. You don't have to say that. We're not fishing for comments here. This is just one that we had to share because it was just so far bonkers. And we were going to have an FU Friday series where we are going to share bonkers comments, but I don't know if we're ever going to get one that's better than that. That's pretty good. That one's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I may have gotten one other one like that over the years, and I may have a copy of it somewhere. I'll find it if I can, and uh, I'll read it off to you guys sometime. But before we get to that, licky, likey, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly. We've got more mail coming on later on this video. Hit up duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. Make sure you find B McQueen's links up there. That's right, B has her own Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and so do I. So check them out. Duckshit.net is a way to get there. Don't go, I want a link to her website. Go to my website, duckshit.net. One click takes you right there. I don't have to do extra homework to service people with the technical support issues. Duckshit.net, guys. Don't ask. Visit the website. Clicky takes you there. Thanks so much. Okay, we'll be back right after the intro. Happy Pride! <laughs> <laughs> And we've got us some packages today. First one comes from my friend Rob, who gave you a gift. Ooh. Didn't know if you'd be into something like that. 
I don't know. You know who Rob is. I've met Rob. Actually, that looks pretty good on you. Hey. I thought it would be a little different. And when Rob said, you know, give this to her, I was like, hey. Thanks, Rob. I know I couldn't wear it. My head is just so big that it looks like I'm wearing a little kid's hat when I wear something like that. It looks terrible. It's the only big head you've got. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge big head. Which I made in a comment to somebody else this week that was upset with something that I taught him how to do in video, but he had an earlier model Beetle that was missing the parts. Uh -huh. So I said, well, instead of, like, whining about it, why don't you check your service manual before you start the work? Instead, instead of taking all the advice you can from some idiot on the internet with a big head. <laughs> and I forget how exactly I worded it, but anyway, that was my response to him, and he didn't respond again, so I guess I pretty much nailed it on that one. Now this comes from Rachel Jane. Rachel Jane. Rachel Jane is a local sushi chef, friend of mine. Ooh. <gasps> she got those. I didn't know if you'd be into something like that. Yes. You like that? Yes. I'm gonna she wear thought them for they'd my be videos. kind of cool while you're working. It's kind of a like a work coverall kind of thing. Yes. Although they really don't cover a whole lot, but usually perfect. don't wear a whole lot on our videos anyway. Size. Size is a million. Oh, perfect. It's I perfect. Hope that's the style number. Yeah, large. I might fit. Okay. okay. You got the right curves, I think. Yeah. Should fill that up. Yeah. Tell Rachel Jane, thank you. Thanks, Rachel. We'll have to go visit her for sushi sometime. She's a local sushi chef. That's exciting. And she's Asian American. Ooh. Born here, though. Oh. But she puts on a fake Asian accent while she's making her sushi. And, and I love it. Because when I was in there the other day, she was making some sushi. A customer wandered in and started asking questions. And she started to answer with an American accent. I said, put on the accent. And she put on the Asian accent, like midway in, in the conversation. And the guy was too dumb to even notice. <laughs> and then he just kind of ran off. But that was just amusing. So anyway, you like that? Yes. And the hat? Yes. Pretty cool. It looks yes. good with your hair down too. The like hat's that. a little big for my head. Uh, it'll work it'll out. Work. You'll, you'll, you'll grow. Wait, what? <laughs> we got a package today hey. from CIP1. Now you probably know that CIP1 is the sponsor of Gregory. And you see Gregory right here behind me and people always ask, hey, when are you going to work on Gregory again? And the answer is, I actually have been working on Gregory all along. I've been just so busy with so many things that I only put a few minutes into it here and there. But if you look at the front of it, you'll notice right away he's wearing a smock. And that's because a lot of progress has been made on this, this vehicle over the last few weeks. I just haven't had a chance to show it in video. But you'll probably see it this week or next in the next video that's coming up. If you want more information, please check out my Instagram because I'm always posting photos in between. And if you want to get up on my Patreon, I post up photos as soon as something happens. So if you'd like to know more what's going on. That's where you need to look. Mosquitoes. All right, let's see what we got in here. I'm going to help you out a little bit. Okay. Because I put in a knife and forgot. There you go. Yay. I'm not sure if there's more than just that in there. There might be. I don't remember. Ah! Are you okay? No. I think that just sliced my forehead really bad. Oh, man. I hope we got that on video real good. I guess we'll see in a minute if blood starts to come out. Yep, there it is. We're bleeding. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You stabbed me with sheet metal is what you just did. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll live. Now I got a war wound. Check it out, guys. They got me real good. Sheet metal in the head. Sorry. Anyway, we got? Rip it open. Sheet metal. Apparently. I haven't lost consciousness. And you know what they say about scars. No. Let me dig them. Oh, okay. What does it look like? Floor pans. Floor pans, that's right. It's the floor pan sections for my 1972 Super Beetle, which this week we've also started to work on. We started tearing apart the engine, made a little progress on that. So you'll be watching a video on that either this week or next also, along with the Gregory video upcoming. Now there should be two here, if I'm not yep. mistaken. There's the one for the battery. You can see the clip that's on it. And then the one for the driver's side, an American driver's side anyway. Sorry for those of you that are overseas. <laughs> but anyway, these are what's rusted out on that beetle, and uh, I think that'll pretty much fix what we need to go from here. Um, that is the end of what we've got here, but I do have some more packages inside, so we're gonna go shift over to that right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Indoor Workshop. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on on my desk today and a few things that I've gotten. I've got some packages in here that we're going to open up, a couple things. One thing's from my dad and something came from overseas. So we're going to have a look at these in just a second here. So a little bit I wanted to talk about, well, I wanted to talk about it more but I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, is my power distribution module here and control module for Eleanor. I've got the outputs done, you guys saw that. I'm working on setting up the inputs. These are the little computers here, just extras. I don't even know why they're on the breadboard. They don't even belong here. Let's just stick them right here and get them completely out of the way. But these are the inputs, and I'm going to start wiring up some switches to it. 
such as the Volkswagen headlight switch that you see here, and a bunch of other switches. Just simple little push-on switches that are only momentary, but the computer that is here with the software that's integrated into it will be able to understand that every time you touch that button something should happen. So if it's on, if I push it again and it's already on, it'll go off. You know, vice versa. It's a simple if statement. So I'll build that into the software. But these are a few things that I've been working on here and uh, I really didn't make any progress or anything on that at all this week. But that's not such a big deal to me. We do have a package here. Well, not really a package, but it's some mail from my dad. And uh, this is something that uh, he called me about before he sent it out. He said, um, thought you might have one of these. I have just found it. Read the back. I don't know why I would have it, but what it is, is um, Naples, Italy, 1963, age 20, learning to ride for the first time, a Bianchi 175. And that's my dad at 20 years old. And he's also hanging up here on the wall. That's also Dad. That was him on his uh, Royal Enfield uh, Indian. So it's kind of cool having that stuff. And uh, one of my best friends, um, well, friends' family, if you will, the whole family of friends, they own a European motorcycle shop, so I think they would really appreciate to see that too. But that's definitely going to hang up here in a shop. My dad at 20 years old. And look at that tricep. Yeah, I've got those too. <laughs> you can tell where I got them from. Anyways, that's cool. Got to thank Dad for that. Of course, I've already spoke to him on the phone, but thanks, Dad. We got another package here. It came from England. I already started to bust it open because I was curious just what the hell it was. And um, it's a note inside. It said, I hope you find some use for these. Regards, Roman. There it is. And inside this box is a whole bunch of little servo motors. Check that out. And servo motor controllers and all the little hookup wires for them. A whole bunch of different components. Now you say, hey, what are you going to use these for? And really, I'm not certain just yet. However, however, it will work with my little integrated computer here. So I want to, if I wanted to build something such as a um, throttle control, maybe I want to use my tablet and I can rev the Volkswagen up. You know, I mean, that's just one thing that I can do. Uh, I can have it do a whole bunch of other things, but... It's kind of a thought that I had, so I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you, Roman, for that. Roman gave me these little things here, and I think these are really neat. Um, I don't, like I said, I really don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But he offered them up, so there they are. Thanks again, Roman. Appreciate it. All right, one more thing to discuss. You probably noticed my subs counter is working here, and it's it's going like mad, and. It's out of control, and I had no idea what the hell's going on, because I, I only turn it on when I start recording these videos. I rarely look at the thing, and I notice the numbers are just going like crazy. It just, they, they just keep going up. They do go down once in a while, too. I don't retain, but maybe 90 to 95 percent of my subscribers. I usually lose between 5 and 10 percent over time. But uh, that's just my retention rate. I'm sure people have some higher and some people have some lower. But I'm trying to figure out why the hell my subs are going up so fast. So I went and looked, and it turns out I have a couple of viral videos on a few of my different YouTube channels. So that's the reason why these numbers are going up, and I've been getting just a ton of comments. So what's the first thing I did? Made sure that monetization was turned on on those videos. I don't think I'm going to make any wild amount of money, but it'd be kind of cool to see my subscribers go up so I'll have a, a new viewer base and people commenting and um, and sharing with me and a little bit of communication back and forth. I think that'll be really nice. But anyway, that's all that's going on here in the shop. Once again, you guys, we're going to return you back to outside where B and I are talking in front of the Volkswagen bus. When we're back. What'd you think about this video? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still bleeding here. Look at this. This is great. This is great. I don't think I have any scars on my forehead. This is like going to be one of the first ones. <laughs> now I have something to talk about whenever I'm on video. I should be mad, but I'm really not because we caught it on video. If we didn't catch it on video, I'd be really pissed off. <laughs> it's just great. Somebody actually get to see my blood because I don't shed too much blood in my videos usually. Look, there's already something trying to suck on me here. A bug tried to land on me. Where are you going? Get back here. It's your turn. Come here. Well, anyway, we're going to wrap up this video. How do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> She's all upset, and I'm not upset. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's all right. It's just a little blood. Okay. It's not even that much. I was hoping it would run down and look all dramatic, you know, like Nick Foley or something. Mick Foley, my bad. No, it's not even that dramatic. Okay. It's like I'm scratching a mosquito bite. Okay. 
That really felt bad, though. It hurt. Because, I mean, it felt like it, it hit my skull. It felt like it really jammed in. You got me with one of the corners. Hey, look at the corners on these guys. Check that out. It went right in my head. Went right in there. Frankly, they're not that sharp, but they are pointy. I guess if they were a little sharper and if you gave it one of these, mm -hmm. you probably would have ripped my forehead right open. Anyway, licky, likey, comment, subscribe, plug that dingle belly, check out duckshit.net for all of my different social media links, as well as B's links. That's right, B's got a Facebook. Uh, what do you have Facebook? I do. You do have Facebook. Do have Facebook. The B McQueen Facebook page. Yes. B McQueen needs to start posting up on Duckman Cycles VW Garage. Okay. Yeah, get in there. Okay. Add yourself as a, as a, uh, as a, as your page. Yes. Get in there and get involved because people are asking questions all the time and I don't think I've ever seen you interact. Mm. Yeah, so you get in there and you could post your stuff from your Instagram there too, share it because people want to see it. And I encourage anybody to share what they're working on. If you're going to share somebody else's something, it needs to be on topic. You know, something pertaining to me like ducks or, right, or some kind of car project or something, you know, that makes sense to the page. Don't start sharing political humor and stuff. It, that doesn't work. Unless it's your political humor and you created it. That's what I try to encourage people to do, to put up their own things up on the Duckman Cycle VW Garage Facebook page. Anyways, as again, duckshit.net, find all of our social media links. Follow us on Instagram. She's got her own. I got my own Patreon. We each got our own. Hers is really busy, you guys. Keep her busy. Keep her going. Because she might get lucky and maybe she'll become maybe. a full-time Volkswagen YouTuber. Wouldn't that be cool? That means she'll give me a job. <laughs> Here's hoping. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Wow, look at that. That is just awesome. It's not even bleeding that much. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm